Hello internet friends. Today I'm going to talk about the Orville Dam, the failure, how it compares to the Auburn Dam, and the failure of the Auburn Dam. So if you ask anyone in Northern California, they're going to tell you about the Auburn Dam. The Auburn Dam was a proposed concrete arch dam on the North Fork of the American River east of the town of Auburn, California in the United States on the border of Placer and El Dorado counties. Slated to be completed in the 1970s by the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation, it would have been the tallest concrete dam in California and one of the tallest in the United States at a height of 680 feet and storing 2,300,000 acre feet of water. Straddling a gorge downstream of the confluences of the north and middle forks of the American River and upstream of Folsom Lake, it would have regulated water flow and provided flood control in the American River Basin as part of the Reclamation's immense Central Valley project. The dam was first proposed in the 1950s. Construction work commenced in 1968 involving the diversion of the North Fork American River through a tunnel and construction of a massive earthen coffer dam. Okay, so during 1986, the coffer dam completely failed. It was an earthen dam. Sounds familiar like the Orville Dam. That earthen dam completely failed. I'm going to play a clip for you right now. Okay, this is a prelude to what Coffer Dam. So, this is the failure of the Coffer Dam. The earth dam that allowed the workers to work on the cement dam of Auburn Dam. So this is the overview of the Auburn Dam project. And the Earthfield Dam reminds me of Orville Dam. Now this is the emergency spillway, right? It looks familiar. It looks just like the Orville Dam. So the emergency spillway started to erode, right? So now they're using that as the main spillway. Not only is it the emergency spillway, it's the main spillway now. Another dam they had was breached long before. Right, so this is like their one, two, and third backup plan. Um, so as this spillway is eroding it forms a horseshoe and it erodes it starts eating into what they call the toe of the dam see the toe of the dam the toe of the dam begins to fail right there you could see it this is identical to the Orville dam erosion and this horseshoe now becomes like a main feature like Niagara Falls. It's like, look at that. It's so the, the whole erosion is the whole thing. Like, it's, it's completely in failure. It's, it's like a river now. There's no water being held by the dam at all. Uh, all of the water in the dam is going to breach out. And this is the failure. So any dam made, I think, is a coffer dam. If you if you make a temporary dam, that's earthen dam. Look at that. This, uh, all the water is going completely out. So that debris right there is, are, are massive trees that have been uprooted from the water and the rains. So the whole dam has failed right there. And you could even see, you know, there's no even, it's not even acting like a dam. This is Folsom Dam. 
downstream Folsom Dam held. Look at the erosion. It's identical to the Oroville Dam erosion. These erosions, it's identical to the Oroville Dam. So a few things that can be learned by this. It may be the inevitability that Orville Dam is going to fail. This is um, Apocalypse Beer. So what's interesting is a lot of the players in California politics during the Auburn Dam are the same players right now in this Oroville Dam crisis. And you kind of ask yourself, well, why do these same people keep showing up? Why do these same situations keep happening to us? And why do we have to keep repeating the same thing? So that dam, the, uh, the Auburn Dam failed for, for political reasons. Every so many years was a big push to complete the Auburn Dam, right? Well, now you can see that Oroville Dam has to be completely redone. Folsom ha Dam has to be completely redone. Auburn Dam has to be completely redone. Nimbus Dam has to be completely redone. Um, every dam in California has to be completely redone redesigned those people have to get new jobs we need people with real degrees the people that should have the jobs don't have the jobs they're not hiring anybody with a college diploma you know it's a complete disaster this disaster started in the 1950s when they didn't complete the Auburn Dam